Yo, what's going on guys? Just C504 here, bringing you all NCP week number two going up against Grandmaster D-Ray. We already exchanged sixes for his layout, but D-Ray's a great personality to watch. I love to watch his games. I'm in his front office so I can watch him live and it's just, it's a blast. Um, go check D-Ray out is basically what I'm trying to say. But he got that Glow King in the first slot, Primarina, Drill, Mian Chao, Thun uh, not Thunderous, Talonflame, and Miltank. In Mox, I was leading Zalma, but that's because Rotom and Gigalith were there in place of Talonflame and Prim. He actually only brought two out of the six mods that I saw in Mox, which was the Drill and the Glow King. Um, no Hydra is interesting, but it's understandable. Um, the Mian Chao did kind of terrify me in prep, but I think I'm fine. I've got a lot of leeway to play between... Zama and Chansey this week, and then Yuxi for the drill, of course. He, I think, is going to be a Scarf Moldbreaker set this week. So, there's that. I'm just going to lead my Thundee. Um, it's pretty good. Um, good Volt Switch on a lot of things, uh, especially because the Gigalith isn't here. I was going to be Plot, but it looks like we're looking at a potential Scarf Drill game. So, there's that. But yeah, good luck, have fun to D-Ray. Should be a fun one. Uh, I'm a bit worried, um, but I think... Zama can just Mickey collect this game pretty freely, so there's that at least. Eat more chicken. That is the mill tank. Um, I'm fine just T-bolting you. In all honesty, as an offensive Pokemon, Thunderous really smashes D-Ray here. Um, in the matchup, it was pretty tough to decide. Do I want a nasty plot set or do I want Volt Switch? But I ultimately decided that Volt Switch was the better bring because even at plus two, a Gigalith could still live a Focus Blast if it was Spadef enough. And the coverage of Thunderbolt and Focus Blast and Dark Pulse really just hit his entire team. Like if we go down the list, Hydreigon, Focus Blast, Low King Galar, Dark Pulse, and Thunderbolt's pretty comparable in damage as well. Primarina, T-Bolt, Mian Chao, T-Bolt, you get the idea. And in this game, it's fantastic because the only electric resist D-Ray brought was Excadrill. I call Excadrill coming in one time with a Focus Blast. It is dead and I can just start spamming Volt Switch. I can even spam Volt Switch. If the Excadrill comes in hard, so be it. I'll Focus Blast at the next turn. We're playing with a big 70% here, but if that 70% does come up in our favor and we kill Excadrill, the matchup is really, really good for us. Um, and Thunderous can kind of just smash him offensively. His only ways of being faster than it on matchup was Talonflame and Scarfers, like a Scarf Rotom or a Scarf Hydra. So that's really, really good. Um, that is my Thunderous. Uh, I think Focus Blast is actually a better play because it gets so much damage off if you do elect to stay in. Um, I'm Prankster instead of Defiant because I had Nasty Plot, but I don't really need either. It's not like he has an Intimon for me to like bluff anything with. But um, he does switch. Do we see a hard drill? Probably hard Glow King, right? California. Oh, please hit. If you hit, that's amazing. And you are a Scarf Moldbreaker, of course. Let's go. Bam. This could be just like a massive threat eliminated right from the get-go. Whew. They're both weak to fighting D-Ray. <laughs> um, but yeah, that feels great, dude. Now my Yuxi's so free, uh, and I can actually use it to check Mian Chao. Um, I have Dragalge for that, but... Now Dragalge can be used to check Primarina. Oh my god, my whole game plan has shifted just because that turn one, dude. That is so huge. So, so, so huge. I will not understate that. Uh, Dark Magician. That's probably the Glow King. I'll just bolt out on you. Uh -huh. Into... I don't want to get tricked on my Chansey is the big thing. So, I can bolt into... That does... 30%. Um, I'll maybe calc if he's like taking a little bit next turn. Uh, vaulting into Mammo aggressively seems very, very good for me. Um, I don't want to like risk Chansey to a trick or something, because uh, Trick Black Sludge could totally be a thing. And I'm fine risking Mammo Swine to that. And I don't know if Scald is your play. You do just Psychic. Okay, cool. Um, which does damage, but it's fine. Uh, what are you going to do about me? Um... Oh boy, I'm coming to love Mammoth Swine. Look at this thing's offensive matchup. Week in, week out, it's going to put in a lot of work. He does have a good dual stab resist, actually, this week in Rotom Frost, which also presents a Will-O-Wisp. But Rotom can't really touch us outside of a Will-O-Wisp or, like, a foul play. So 
um, we're actually pretty good. Uh, Stab is obviously fantastic. I ended up choosing Rock Slide as my fourth move because I figured it would be a nice mid-ground into Rotom or like an aggressive Talon Flame switch. And it still does okay enough damage to Primarina Popping Balloon. I think maybe Superpower was the objectively better bring, but I decided Rock Slide playing it safe this week. Uh, obviously, the Mammo Dual Stabs go crazy. Getting in aggressively on things like Glow King is pretty easy. And with the Excadrill gone, um, Mammo just kind of really does an even better job at ravaging his offense. I also predict that we should be faster than his Mill Tank. So that's something that's pretty nice. And his best switching at this point is a Primarina. And that thing will not appreciate two Earthquakes. So yeah, Mammo, I think, does really, really fantastic here. I imagine you could like pivot uh, Talonflame or Primarina, but I'm just gonna Rock Slide in case of like a Balloon Prim or something. And it also covers like Talonflame, like I said, and I don't think you stay in. You could be Shuka, but you actually revealed Black Sludge. So, um, the, you can't be Shuka, is what I'm trying to say. But you do switch. Can we see Talonflame? That would be fantastic. Calypso, what are you? Prim? Are you like Air Balloon or something? I know Slacking ran an air balloon water type last week. Rock slide, we do connect. And we do around 30%, which is fine. Uh, and you are lefties. 30% on a rock slide. Earthquake is twice as strong, which means we don't kill you. Um, so I do just pivot into Chansey, I think. Pivoting into Chansey seems pretty free. I can just like throw a wish in the air. Um, and then like a Yuxi or something. Uh, you can flip turn pretty freely. Uh, I will not lie. Um, that could be kind of scary. You could also possibly rest, but I don't think you rest when you're at this percentage-wise, so there's that. Uh, Chansey. And you do flip turn. Good play. Um, so now we are a little bit on the back foot because you get Mian Xiao in, but we have Yuxi. And I can try to get rocks. We have Dragalge, and I could try to get some offensive momentum. Um, I think is a bit more fine. I don't think you ever set up here. So what I'm going to do is just hard Dragalge just in case you do set up. <laughs> Obviously, we all love Chansey, right? This game, it is pretty much tasked with handling D-Ray's special offense. Um, but it's a bit more complicated than that. The uh, obvious best things that it's here for are Hydra and Primarina. And then... Tangentially, it can check Slowking and Rotom, but I really, really do expect a Trick Black Sludge Slowking this week, and had the Rotom come, I would have also expected Trick on that, because it's a really good way of removing my Chansey's Eviolite and making it much uh, better to deal with. I decided for Wish Protect here. I think going forward, Wish Soft Boiled might be a better bring, as Protect kind of offers a little bit less utility, but it's really good for scouting something like a Scarf Mian Xiao this week, so I do value Protect. And it also can help tell me info about Hydra. Uh, Mono Estos, walled by Decidueye. But other than that, we're getting pretty solid chunks of damage off. And Heal Bell is because I'm a bit worried about Scald Burns from things like Slow King and Primarina. As well as potential Flame Body Burns from Talonflame on my Zama. So I figured Heal Bell would be an important last move here. Um, but yeah, that's Chansey here for the Special Attackers and potential Protect Scouts. Um... There's really no reason for me to protect here. Um, it reveals that I'm most likely Wish, and I don't want him to know that yet. So, because Wish means no teleport. So it doesn't seem like information I'm willing to give up just yet. Um, and then he can choose to do whatever he pleases. Um, Dragology comes out. You can just U-turn if you want. Try to put me in the Vortex, but you knock off. That's fine. We were Black Sludge. Um... And you're not Life Orb, that looks like. Yeah. Um, so now it's our turn to get the momentum back, and I can just click. Fuck, Draco is so free, isn't it? This week I opted for Dragalge as my primary Mian Xiao switch in. Uh, this is because while Finny is pretty solid here and does really, really challenge the Hydreigon, I figured that it would overall get a bit more pressured this game, whereas Dragalge is really good at uh, beating the Mian Xiao, and uh, offensively, it does kind of just claim a kill uh, almost every time it gets in. He does have Slow King, which can kind of take it on, and uh, Spidef Gigalith as well is a menace. But outside of that, uh, Draco is really, really free. 
And so we can click that and then do pretty well. The Fizz Def does help us take the Mian Chao hits. Uh, I didn't need much more special attack than this, so I decided Fizz Def would be where it's at. And uh, we'll be able to check Mian Chao pretty, pretty efficiently. Uh, it won't have anything super effective to hit us, whereas it would have like a poison jab to hit Feeny for decent damage. Uh, the best thing it can do to us is knock, and knock does not do a lot of damage here. Uh, I guess CC actually does more once he removes our item as well. So there's that. Uh, and then obviously the flip turn momentum is super nice on things like Slow King. Um, and it can also do a decent job of like, if it has to, it can take a firm arena hit and revenge it. Um, and obviously in the matchup, Drill uh, wouldn't appreciate switching into something like a Scald or a flip turn. Um, and so that's kind of where I got the idea for Trigalgy from. Also, it hasn't came yet. Feeny's came. It's always nice to bring different mons, maybe catch D-Ray off guard with a different look. Draco is incredibly free. Um, I was going to say I can just flip turn, but I can just Draco. Uh, you probably go Glow King. Um, yeah, but still, this is fantastic chip. Um, and then I can flip turn now. Draco. You also reveal Psychic instead of Psy Shock. Which is interesting, as we just do a clean, clean 65, which means we don't kill you this turn, because you're up to 40, and we do about 30, so flip turn is pretty free, but it forces like a slack off, um, or something along those lines. But you're just max HP, which is fine. Uh, no issue with you being max HP. You double, which is pretty cool. But I did flip turn, so I think I'm in a good spot. <laughs> um, flip turn. Uh, we don't do anything, but he does get lefties. And I just go into my Thundy, and I can Volt Switch. Um, I was thinking about going Chansey, but Thunderous seems like it gets me a little more momentum. Or I can just T-Bolt, actually. I feel like T-Bolting away seems pretty free. Um... Glow King will be at about 70. So, like, T-Bolt into a potential, like, Dark Pulse. Seems like a very solid line here. When you're not, um, Spadef or AV, T-Bolt into Dark Pulse should be picking up the kill from the range that you are at. Or at the very least, it is a roll. Uh, and you don't kill me in one. So, we can kind of go for that. You do switch, of course. You have to. Chao Mian. Um, it's Chao Main, it's not even Chao Mian. Kind of boring. Uh, I just T-Bolt. And we do 90%. I have no reason to not, like, scout and go Uxie here, in case you're Scarf. Uh, and, like, Scarf Stone Edge, which could be kind of scary. Um, so, there's that, and you can always just regen uh, on your own with Scarf U-Turn. You just U-Turn, that's fine. We eat our Tanga Berry, which we were for the Excadrill. And this will do a whole lot of nothing. And I do want to get rocks up here, um, depending on what you go into. I don't really know what you go into here, but rocks seems like a pretty solid play either way. I don't think it's possible for me to explain how terrified I was of Excadrill in this matchup. Once it gets in on the sand, it really, really has a good time just tearing me apart, especially if it gets a Swords Dance. And it can pretty freely run just EQ, X, Scissor, and then like Poison Jab and just kind of kill my entire team after a Swords Dance. So that's where Tanga Berry Uxie comes in. We will live any hit at plus two and then kill him back with a Foul Play. And uh, that's the main idea. Additionally, U-Turn is obviously nice for momentum. Psy Shock is because originally I was Rest Talk, but then Owen pointed out I was walled by Mian Chao. Can't be walled by Mian Chao on your Uxie which this game can actually function as a decent Mian Chao check because Drill is removed. Um, and then rocks obviously are rocks. Um, they're nice here. Uh, they don't do anything too, too special, but obviously getting chip on things like Slow King, switching in, cutting the regen, uh, things like Mill Tank seems pretty nice with the Uxie. So that is where we are at. Eat more chicken. Yeah, that's fine. I'll trade rocks with you. Or if you want to like toxic me, that's also fine. This is such like a momentum suck into uh, Zama. And you do rocks, which means that you're faster than me. Next turn, I can get a slow U-turn off um, into Zama. Uh, I think trading rocks is 
more advantageous for me than it is for him. So there's that. I will U turn here. Um, he does just seismic toss. And I U turn, get out Zama. Um, and we're in a position, unironically, where we could just howl and maybe win. Um, like. And, yeah, we could just howl and maybe win. It's something to consider. Um, right? Like, worst case here, what do you do? You, like, thunder wave me and we can't do that? I feel like close combat's actually just my play. Um, because, like, close combat should just be able to, like, pick up a kill or something along those lines. Uh, it should be able to position me into a kill eventually. The big guns. We are opting with another Howl 3 attacks set this week just because uh, his only resist to the stabs is Talonflame, and Talonflame dies to a wild charge. And then we obviously have the chance of Heal Bell to stay healthy uh, from the burn, as well as Wish to stay healthy from wild charge recoil. And then, other than that, CC plus Behemoth Bash is just so, so incredibly free this matchup that, like, I'm so excited. This is, like, I think one of, if not the best Zama matchups we're going to get all season. On top of that, we live some very, very stupid things, just like naturally, between like a Mian Chao CC, I'm pretty sure we can live, uh, a Drill Earthquake we can live, uh, we can really chew Talonflame hits, uh -huh. and so that is where we're at with Zama, this thing is so broken, and Chansey will be able to sustain it pretty, pretty well. So, yeah, close combat into like Wild Charge or something on the Talonflame, or you do just stay in your Chopple, we should live like any Earthquake or something, if you Thunder Wave, that's fine. Um, are you counter? That could be scary. Counter. We should live, right? Maybe? Yes, okay. We do. That's great. Um, I'll go one for one. I'll go one for one. Um, it's kind of sad that our Zama's not going to be that useful, but... We do trade with the mill tank, and then we can preserve it as a sack. Unfortunately, our Chansey isn't healing wish this week, because that could bring this back from the dead, <laughs> um, which would be hilarious, but unfortunately, not this week. Um, you go Chao Mian. Actually, I will st sack this to figure out if you actually are Scarf. I think it's vaguely worth doing. So yeah. Um... I think that's worth, uh, and you are. Um, but that was a good bring, Chopple counter. Was a little bit surprising. Uh -huh. And now I have to rely a lot more on Thunderous to sort of, like, win. But, should be pretty good. Um, Zama, we're up a piece, um, Talonflame, Thunderous time, I feel like your Thunderous spot is, like, already so bad, which confuses me a little bit as to why you'd Talonflame here, but I will Thunderbolt, like, no, fuck, I misclicked. No, 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 that's so bad. I misclicked. That's so annoying. Okay, well, we were faster than the Talonflame, interestingly. I misclicked. That is so annoying. Fuck me. Fuck me, dude. Um... That was, yeah. At least that didn't really do anything too major. Um, are you going to be knock? Uh, or not knock. Are you going to be the stone edge this game? I don't think you are. I'm going to Thunderbolt. I think you got to be poison jab in that last slot for Feeny. Um, if you make the harder read that Feeny isn't coming, it would be kind of awkward read to make. So, I expect you have poison jab. But I live a poison jab. You just U-turn. Cool. Yeah. That's fine. 
Um, that's just like mildly annoying that I misclicked there because I would have just okoed the T flame. And that would have been one less piece to worry about late game. But Dark Magician is the slow king. This is fine. With rocks, Thunderbolt is doing probably damn near to a KO. Um, and we can always Dark Pulse. Um, and we get a Para, which is cool. Um, you get the Black Sludge. And I'm just going to... Hmm. I do think I just Thunderbolt again. I think it's really in my best interest to just keep Thunderbolting. Dang, if I hadn't misclicked, I would have just won, I think, pretty close to it with my Thundee. And Slow King goes down. Cool. And now Mian Chao can come back out, maybe. Um, but I still think I'm in, or I'm outside of knock range um, from Scarf. Yeah, I am. And... But, 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 it's probably still not worth staying in when Dragalge is still kind of free. Uh, and then, like, Dragalge Sludge Wave kind of gets one. So, yeah, this is worth, I think. Um, we might lose Dragalge to knock into knock, so there's that. Yeah, because you live a Thunderbolt. 97 down to 60. No, we do live another knock. So Sludge Wave should pick up a kill. Um, dang. Yeah, <laughs> I think I genuinely just raw one if I didn't misclick. But that is in the past. You switch. Mian Chao is your real only endgame option. You go Calypso. That is dead now. Um, but any Yuxi should be able to take on vaguely uh, the Mian Chao. So there's that. Um, and I just Sludge Wave till I die. Um, dead prim. So you got two pieces left. Uh, you would only have one, but eh, you live and you live and you live. <laughs> um, Mian Chao definitely can't lock anything to win, so T Flame is slower than my Thundee, so I think I'm in a good spot to win. I don't need Chansey for anything. You don't kill me in one, do you? I don't know what you would do to kill me in one. Um, I'm just going to Sludge Wave again. Um, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> um, perhaps. Perhaps. What would you do? I don't know. Crit knock me? Just 40-ish damage. So crit would do... I don't even know if crit kills, honestly. Um, Dragalge ended up coming in super fast. You close combat. You're dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, we live, thankfully. Um, nothing worth uh, playing for diff over. I don't believe that the misclick cost us any diff. Maybe it cost us one. But Mian Xiao is dead. Um, perhaps he wasn't factoring in that I do have a little bit of defense investment. Like 112 EVs, uh, which you will see in the team builder. Uh, for kind of no good reason, I will not lie. There weren't really any like calcs in specific that helped. But... I'll just sludge wave here, give him another piece, and we'll go to 2 and 0 plus 9. Um, don't let any, like, set up opportunities or anything. Yeah. You got nothing to U-turn into. But yeah, I go Thundee. And I click Thunderbolt. And I say GG's to my man D-Ray. Um, that was just a sad misclick that... Ended up not mattering because Thunderous is still just broken. Um, this mon is so good, dude. He chopple countered me with the Zama, but he clearly was not prepared for Thundee. If he had brought Gigalith, this could have been a different game. But as it stands, the turn one was a very, very pivotal turn in that it opened up Thundee so much, dude. Like, look at this game. If Thundee wasn't, like, able to just freely spam Thunderbolt, totally different game. But, yeah, that is all that. Hope you enjoyed this uh, pretty quick, it felt, uh, NCP game. I don't know if it was that quick, but hopefully my misclick didn't cause any of you to click away. And uh, yeah, comment your favorite turn, like always. And uh, until next time, Jesse504 out. Peace.